Anna Karianis. Um, my name in Drupal is Emma Maria, everywhere. Um, I'm a front-end developer. I am the Basic theme maintainer in Drupal Core, and I organize and mentor at a lot of log sprints. So, yeah, that's all about me. Um, so, uh, oh, cool. So, um, <laughs> giving back to Drupal, we all know that is a great thing to do. Um, we use it every day for our jobs, and contributing back to open source is awesome. But it might not necessarily be an easy thing to get into. You might have some preconceptions about uh, sprinting or contributing. You may have had a bad experience at a first sprint or a second sprint, or you might just want to start out at home and you're a little bit worried about it. So more, hopefully my talk is full of lots of advice and experience I've had in the beginning, and it will help you out and get you all excited. So sprints. This is the best place you could possibly be to start contributing. You want to be surrounded by the community when you first, first start um, to contribute. And sprints are basically an opportunity and event for everyone to get together physically in a space. Um, they usually split up into initiatives, so you see different tables. And initiatives are like things that people are working towards to get into Drupal or finish in Drupal. Or there's also people work on contrib modules together or they work on anything to do with Drupal, basically, and it's just split up into separate little sprints in a big sprint. I think I'm good. Cool. Yes. So what do you get out of going to a sprint? Well, first, you learn a lot. Um, learning to contribute is a huge process. There are so many things that you need to um, get your head around. So using the Drupal issue queue, um, installing Drupal 8 is quite interesting, first time. Um, learning how to use Drupal 8 to get things done, and there's a lot of complex tasks that you think you need to understand um, immediately when you start contributing, but if you're at Sprint, it, it becomes a little easier. Everyone is around to help you. And also, um, once you start getting into contribution, you end up learning so much, be it social skills, um, how everything works, working together with people, and you find that you work on issues that have nothing to do with what you do at home or your job, but then later down the line, like worlds collide, and you're like, oh, I did this cool thing at a sprint that weekend. I could totally use it. So it's, it's, it's fun. It's good. Learning process is good. So this leads to support. Um, if you can see all of these orange people, these are mentors, and at bigger sprints, these people are available on hand all day at a um, mentored sprint to help you out. You just got to like wave and grab them, shout at them <laughs> nicely, and they will come help you out of anything. And um, even at smaller sprints where there aren't brightly colored people <laughs> who are mentors, um, any experienced contributor will be super happy to help you out. Everyone knows what first sprints feel like and contributing for the first time. Like it's this kind of feeling that <laughs> everyone knows and everyone will be happy to help you out. So there is a lot of support to be had and available at Sprints. Um, yeah, so you get to try out new skills. Um, in your day-to-day -day job uh, life, you might not get to train people or look after people or manage projects. And um, at Sprints, so you can volunteer happily and just say like, oh, I want to look after like, I want to mentor people, or I want to lead the whole sprint, or what was the other one? Oh, look after a particular project. And you can happily, freely do that at sprints. All you need to do is ask, sign up, talk to people, and you get an opportunity to do that. And this is at DrupalCon, and all week long they have workshops for mentors to know the kind of skills and what are things expected of them. And I'll discuss more of what that is later, but you get um, support on hand to provide support to others. So it, there's loads of lovely systems in place. And I think, all right, yeah. So community, this is the most fantastic part of contributing and sprinting. Um, I don't think you'll fully understand the Drupal community until you get involved in contribution and at sprints. Um, the way the like everyone sharing and helping each other and collaborating and achieving things. It creates these special bonds between people and I think that most of my best friends have come out of Drupal contribution. Like we all get together a lot, we spend a lot of time together, have a lot of fun and yes, 
all my best friends are in Drupal. So, um, and also at Sprint, you get to have a lot of fun. Um, people tend to work a lot on Drupal because we care about it a lot, but around that, there is like, there's drinks and dinners, we play board games, there are songs, there's like, there's a lot of fun to have. And during Sprints, we joke a lot. If you've been in our Sprint room, the regulars were pretty loud and we have a lot of fun. So that's basically what it's all about. And this picture is not so great, but this is a front end dinner that we were just like, we're hungry. We're just gonna go for an epic dinner. And all these people came and it was a fantastic night. So this happens a lot. And then finally, yes, achievement. What the achievement? <laughs> so achieving the smallest thing at a sprint, surrounded by people helping you and all the other beginners is like, it's an electric atmosphere. Like it gets so exciting at DrupalCon sprints. When you're in the mental sprint, everyone's starting out fresh and everyone's helping. And this, these pictures are like the, well, they're called Dries commits because it's Dries committing something live, but other people do it too. Oh, it's a live commit. That's a live commit. Yeah, that's kind of called Dries commit sometimes. And it's when a group of beginners have started an issue from start to finish and they get it committed live with Dries. And I look really nervous and clapping weirdly because we're so excited, but it's, it's an amazing atmosphere and yeah, I love it, love it, love it lots. So, yes. Um, yeah, and, ooh, okay, next picture. <laughs> so, what can you actually work on? Um, this is an image from, it was a banner outside of a sprint at Bad Camp and it was labeled Coda Lounge, which is completely wrong. Like. Drupal contribution is not all about code, so someone happily, lovingly changed it to be what we actually do. So at Sprints, like I said before, you can you can work on things like like that. You can plan events, you can discuss ideas, you can communicate, you can um, you don't have to work on code. You can review issues where you just like visually check things, manually check things. There are many things you can work on that isn't just code and you can lead a mentor, like I said before as well, so you can just look after people if you're more comfortable with that. That's what I love doing now, and I just go and do that all the time. So, yes, and then if you're a complete beginner and you're worried about the level of things you can work on, these, um, wait, wait. <laughs> um, novice tasks are the tasks for you. In the issue queue, there are tag, you can tag issues of novice and these are very small achievable tasks in an issue. It might be the whole issue, the start of the issue, part of an issue, the end of an issue. And they're very small achievable tasks that you can achieve in a sprint amongst all the crazy around you learning to do things and panicking and worrying. And you'll be able to achieve at least one of these things at a sprint. So the things on the left are the good things and then the things on the right, just, just don't go there. These are it's not a good path to go down for the first few sprints. But things like that where there's documentation online, there are people around you to help you. I still have to look up how to re-roll the patch every time I do it. There's, but it's all documented, people will help you. They're very small things and you can do it easily. So, yes. And I've spoken a lot about all the good things about sprints, everything, and I haven't told you how I started. So. I started at Drupal, well, I attempted to start at DrupalCon Munich in 2012, sometime around then, it was a few years ago, and it didn't go so well because I didn't really, I didn't speak up, and also I, I, I was just, I didn't think I would be able to achieve anything first off, which is not a great way to go into it, you shouldn't do that. So I turned up, or I got set up, and then I went to the mentor sprint, and it was just a huge room, and I just sat down at the first table I saw, and it turned out to be all PHP developers. And I'm a front-end developer who doesn't like PHP, doesn't know PHP very well, and doesn't want to use it. And I was like, oh, God, what have I done? And I just sat there, and then I thought, maybe I should be a PHP developer. I'm doing this wrong. Like, it was, a, it was a horrible mental process. And then they didn't quite know what to do with me at the time, and then I just left. And then I went to the main sprint room, found the front end developers there who were working and I was just like, ah, help me. And then they're like, next time, go find your, like, go find the front enders. There are things, there are valid things for you to do and you will try again. So the next big sprint, um, I still wasn't very confident. 
But I went in there to do client work, which is a no-no, like, don't do that. And then, um, they, people literally didn't give me a choice at this point. They set me up with Drupal, they gave me a very, very small issue, which was amending a comment or something, like, really, really small. I managed to do all of that, it got to reviewed and tested by the community, and I think it was committed by Dries that day or the next day, and I was like, fantastic, that's like the way it should go. So I had a horrible rocky start, and then it got a lot better. And I will give more advice on how to avoid the rocky start, I think, next. Yeah, so this is my first bit of advice, and this is from my experiences, seeing others people experiences when I'm mentoring. So the first thing is do not expect to achieve everything. Like. Everyone expects, I'm going to get Drupal installed in like half an hour, or I'm going to work on this issue, this huge issue, and I'm going to get like 10 things done in the first day. Do not expect this. Just like getting set up and knowing what you're doing and who to talk to is like a huge step. And that can take one day, it can take two days, it can take a few sprints. So like the word sprint is, I don't like it, it's more of a, a marathon that you need to keep going, keep feeling encouraged and progressively like just take it step by step. Um, the next thing is to find your crowd, which is what I didn't do. And it's if you know what you like to do with Drupal or you're interested in, um, go to those things. It's the encouragement and the excitement like that. You want to go to where you're most comfortable first. And then also ask mentors or anyone around you who is helping you for nice novice tasks. And these are like the nicest ones. People have these in their heads. Like mentors would be like, oh, I have this really nice thing, and it's like, take that, take that from them. It would be, it would be a really nice thing to work on, believe me, as far as it's nice. So, and then keep asking for help. I see so many people who, they start an issue and they're like, yeah, I've got it covered, I've got it covered, and then they don't say anything for like three hours, and I'm just, I'm sat there like, I'm not gonna say anything, but are you okay? And then after three or four hours, they're like, oh, I didn't get anywhere. And it's like, just keep asking for help, even if it's the stupidest thing. I still ask really stupid questions all the time when I'm sprinting. It's like, you will achieve things if you ask for help. Um, do not be perfect. This is, I do this. And it's, I will take something and I'll be like, I'm going to complete the whole thing. And I'm going to write this code perfectly because I don't want anyone to see I've made a mistake. And if you just push an issue along a little bit, if you write a quarter of the code or you just do half of the screenshots or just update it a little, you're pushing it forward a lot because you give it more visibility, people will see it's been updated, someone else will take it, like, it could, you could do one line of code and some three other people will work on it just because of the visibility and you can get an issue, you have caused that and it's a great thing. Yeah, so don't sit there and be like, I'm going to work on this and make it perfect and it's going to spend six hours. And that causes the last thing, which I see a lot, and it, like, I don't like my mentees, like the people I mentor to, at the end of the day, to be exhausted and tired and they're like, oh, I didn't get anything done, and my head hurts, and they just sit staring at a screen all day. There's, sprints are a fun environment. You can, you can take a break every now and again. You can literally stop working on an issue and ask for something else, a different task. Please, please do that, because it's not supposed to be a hard working, tough environment. It's supposed to be fun. So they're my first sprint devices. And now, um, my next device is, please, Try and sprint again because your first experience might not have been perfect. Um, you might not have got a lot done, and then don't. Or, yeah, so try to go to a sprint fairly soon afterwards. Don't say go to a DrupalCon sprint and then wait for the next DrupalCon sprint to go because a whole year is a bit much. So try and attend something, even if it's a small camp or a weekend sprint somewhere with a few people. Just keep the momentum going because it keeps the excitement, encouragement, wanting to achieve. It just keeps it going. Um, I'm gonna take. It. <laughs> and then still do not expect to achieve everything people won't remember that you've already been to a sprint and been through the beginner stuff like you will even if you do it the next day you probably won't remember much because it's all of a bit of a learning process and quite tough so do not expect to achieve anything i mean everything not anything you will achieve something <laughs> um and i'll say most sprints big ones um, and most camps should put up a sign-up sheet, and this sign-up sheet contains, it usually is split into different like topics and sprints, and you'll see the sprint leads, and you'll see what people are coming to work on, and that helps you, that gives people visibility of you, and also you can be like, oh, I'm gonna go work on front end. 
and these people are coming and this is cool. So please do sign up to sprints and still ask for help because you will still need help. Um, yeah, just keep asking for help, like I said, and speak up. This is more like you may think, oh, I'm a beginner. I have no valuable advice to give. Everyone knows what they're doing. They've got this direction. But like you might have an idea that is different from, say, a very experienced contributor and it might be better so do speak up you can be surprised at the map because like i never thought of that because we get stuck in our yeah always so please do speak up and then keep to the small achievable tasks people always go like i have already been to a sprint i'm going to take on this huge thing and it's like no just do four or five small things in the sprint if you can it's all about pushing everything along a little bit and also finally talk to initiative and sprint leads so say the person who organizes, if you're interested in, interested in multilingual, go speak to the leader of multilingual. See what's going on, where it's going, where you can fit in. Um, when they have um, meetings and you can join in and you just, you become more interested and part of a group and it just helps you to contribute more if you feel part of like, like your crowd. So please do that. And then before you go home at a sprint, it's very, very important to keep track of your mentors. This is good for us, like men the mentors, because we can find you again. And we like to keep, I like to keep track of my mentors and see how well they've done. That's really nice. So you go, because you can do this on your Drupal.org profile. You can add your mentors. I think you edit your profile and they're, they're in there somewhere. But please do add them to your profile if you have been mentored. Because yeah, I, I like, I just, I <laughs> keep. Sounds really creepy, but like I keep track of them, and then they come find me because I my face is on their profile, and they're like Emma, and it's like it's the best thing, it's, it's amazing, and it's like they've all grown up, and anyway, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean like that, but they're all like fully fledged contributors, and it's like they've left the nest, and it's lovely. So keep track of your mentors, um, find an interest, like I said, because like I got hooked on front end because yeah, I just that's all I do, and I love it, and I just keep track of it. Um, and also, try to follow issues on Drupal.org before you leave a sprint because on your dashboard, on your profile, you get notified and updated and it keeps those issues in a queue. So if you've got things like that and you can see how they're going and you know you'll be able to contribute to these things because someone's like, this is a novice task and all these things, you can go home and whenever you have a little bit of spare time, hopefully add to these issues or just update them or review them. Like you can keep going at home instead of going home and be like, I don't know what to do. Like I haven't got any issues. I have nothing. Like I did something at Sprint and now I have nothing. Like it's best to prep at a Sprint where people can help you. And then you can keep going. Or you go to your next Sprint and be like, oh look, I have this list of things. And people can, you can get going a lot quicker. So I advise that. And if anyone wants help with that here, I can help you. And then at home, there are initiative calls a lot. There's multilingual um, Twig for front end, has a call every two weeks, and it's most enjoyable. I advise to join if you're interested in front end. We have a good time. And it's normally, it, there's a, a US one and a Europe one, and the US one's a bit interesting because like, it's like three in the morning for me. And I'm like, it's, it's fun, it's fun. And then there's call mentoring hours. There's Europe and US, oh, I've got my map in my head the wrong way around. There's Europe and US. Uh, times as well and you can go online onto IRC and chat to mentors and be like I need help finding this or pushing forward this and they, they are there to provide that online help if you're at home so there's a ways to keep going after you go to the sprint so yay now we all want a sprint so where do we go um, so drupacal.com is really good at plotting on a map where sprints and any Drupal event is it's, it's a great it's a great resource. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Um, the purple arrows are all sprints, and the blue ones are all camps, and you can just click on them, and it will tell you when, where, and everything it is. So there's no excuse to say you, no excuse to say you can't find a sprint. Um, oh, yes. So I did some research the end of last year, and I asked the more experienced contributors, how did you get started? What did you like? What didn't you like? What was you stuck with? What do you wish you did different? And most people said to me that they didn't know the differences between 
different types of sprints, the different environments, the different things were provided, and they wish they knew when they went into a sprint. So like, I wasn't 100% comfortable with the DrupalCon sprints because they were huge and overwhelming. I got lost, I did it wrong, I left. So there's different types of sprints. So the DrupalCon sprints are huge. They're like proper geared up for beginners. There's a beginner's workshop to get you set up and then you get passed to a mentored sprint and you, there's another sprint room where you can get also passed to so it's a big environment, but there's a lot of support set up. There are workshops, like I said, like this picture, and it's very structured, but it's a lot to do in one day, and it's quite on a big scale. So if that, if you want to be guaranteed to be set up, everything, all that things, then that's the kind of sprint for you. And then there are smaller sprints where, like I said, like, there's not, you can't see visually the different, like this, you can't see the mentors, but there are a few mentors in there there's experienced contributors, and you can sit down with someone in a more quieter environment and just work all day, probably alongside a few people. So that's, some people prefer that environment, and some people prefer the big DrupalCon environment. So I just thought I'd let you know about that, because that came up a lot, and I was like, yeah, because I kind of prefer this environment a little bit better. And then finally, from the last time I did this talk, people were like, but I can't get to a sprint. And I was like, well, you can host one. So I made a slide, and these are the most important things to set up your sprint. So if you add the sprint to groups.drupal.org, um, all the information will be listed there. People will be able to find it, and it will get plotted onto the Drupal Cow map, I believe. I, could, I was told to do that. So there's that big map. So people will vis be visible. What? People will be able to see your sprint. What am I trying to say? Also, post up the sign-up spreadsheet. Um, an example of this is uh, people just take the DrupalCon sign-up spreadsheet with it's all split into different topics and it's a huge spreadsheet. We just steal that every time. So put that up somewhere on your camp or just you could post it on your uh, sprint post. Just have that and people will sign up. And also you need to have these three uh, cats to um, host your sprint. I used cats because I didn't know. I was like, that's a, that's a, yeah, we use cats. So a sprint lead is someone who will be in charge of looking after the environment, making sure everyone's happy, fed, watered, coffeed, coffeed, caffeinated. Um, we have power, lights, like all those things. Like it's really important for someone to pop in and out. And this camp has done a very good job. You're amazing. Like we are very looked after, and we can happily just work for as long as we can. And it's super important. Camps always need to provide a sprint lead. And then initiative leads, like I said, are people like in charge of the different topics. I think we kind of have front end and back end of this camp. We don't really have specific topics. We have some contrib ones as well. But if you ask people like, oh, hey, we're hosting a camp. Would you be able to come run like a front end sprint? We're like, yeah, totally. Or like if, if you want mentors to come and like mentor your sprint, just find mentors that have mentored at Drupal cons in your region or camps and just ping us. Like I will totally come help out your sprint, help run your sprint and everything. Like you just need to reach out to people and we all love it so much that we'll probably most probably be happy to help. Yes, mentors. <laughs> mentors there. So sprint mentors, I have to mention this because I love doing this. I love all the mentors. It's sprints would not be successful without the mentors helping out. Um, this link will take you to all of the resources about getting started with mentoring or information about how mentors can help you. And these are the DrupalCon sprints um, in America and Europe. And these people are fantastic. They help out with sprints. And also, oh, most importantly, any of you right now, regardless of if you've contributed, can be a mentor. Basically, mentor's role is just to support and just be that like mental support for someone and help them along and make sure they don't burn out, they're not upset, and like they achieve something. And people are normally so excited. I get so excited because they're excited. And we just, it's, mentors are amazing. I, yes, I appreciate being one and having them around. So yes, mentoring. Cool. I think that's the end. Yeah, oh, no. Cool. So thank you for listening. I couldn't come up with a funny, like I was like, I'm just gonna put the smiling swimming dog. So thank you for listening. Um, if any sprint lead mentors 
initiative leads here want to say anything to back in any of, if I've missed anything obvious. They're not looking. They're all looking at each other. If you missed any, if I've missed anything, then there's one, there's one over there. Hi Oliver. Right. Was it, um, <laughs> novice Paris? Was it Yeah. ask for help and get mentored a lot like you can still go to sprints and you can say like I've done this much with stuff I'm still like you can still just speak up and just say yeah. not quite comfortable with this still and, like mentors are quite good at tailoring work like I said like what you're comfortable with what you should avoid and like just come along like we're the we help <laughs> everyone anyone out like I get mentored a lot because I just like oh, when I actually have to work on something so yeah, just come along to a mentor sprint at a DrupalCon and you can still come along. It's fine. We don't kick you out. We don't like oh. promote you like you can't come anymore. You've been to like X amount of sprints and done this much. Like it's we help everyone. So And I guess everyone has questions in the sprint. Even if it's a yeah. mentor sprint. Please do ask. That's why we are in the sprint so that we can talk to each other instead of wearing the headphones and just going. Yeah. <laughs> I still ask the most ridiculous questions just because I'm like is this how we do this still? I've done it ten times, but like, just feel free to ask as many silly, well, you think it's silly questions, and silly questions, it's cool. So. I realise I have another thing to say about the camp. Has anyone got any more questions? Cool. So, the last, how many days have we been doing this? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Day four. Four. One day four? Day four of the Drupal Camp North Spring, and on Wednesday, Lots of people turned up and we got people set up and we, I think Thursday, because of Lowry, who is an amazing sprint lead, he got us all working on issues and he got set up a, a sprint board of all the issues that we're working on, where they are, where they're going. And so far we have, I just got this from the board a second ago, uh, we're working on 26 issues, we've completed six of them, 21 people are on the board, so there are 21 people who have been working on these things. Um, and currently there are 14 issues to still be worked on, like they're in progress, we need someone else, so I need 14 people today to help me out. <laughs> so yeah, we're in the sprint room over there, it's got a big sign, so just come in there, there'll be hopefully some mentors in today, people are talking, but hi, what? Amount of contributors. What? Amount of contributors. The amount of contributors. So we have 3, Oh 000. yeah. Sorry. You could say it. <laughs> yeah, so we have 3000 contributors for Drupal 8. Yay! Yay! I was like, I said 21, but no, you mean the whole thing. Cool. Yeah. 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 No, so any of those came from uh, I guess the moon. We haven't still looked it up, but probably Yeah, we need to track them. down who it was. Yeah. So yeah. And we're sprinting today and tomorrow in the sprint room over there. So if anyone wants 
to ask any questions or help out with things or just do the smallest task or know what to do next when they go to the next event, just come and talk to us. There's, who's a reliable mentor today? I am. They don't, they don't think helpful. We, stick your hands up. Everyone's You're a good contributor. So ask these people anything. I'm putting this all on you, but like ask these people anything, anything, and they will help you out. Cool, I'm done now. Thank you for listening to me. Have a great time. <laughs>